The Russia-China Cooperation Roadmap in Satellite Navigation will improve the precision and dependability of the GLONASS and Beidou systems in both nations. This was announced during an interview with the Russia One television channel by Dmitry Bakanov, the chief executive officer of Roscosmos. He observed that many services within the national economy are linked to navigation. Today, according to Bakanov, navigation is impossible without the use of the orbital constellations of the Russian GLONASS system and the similar Chinese Beidou system. The chief of Roscosmos stated that the agreement will facilitate the synchronization of signals for application in the transportation sector and other industries. We will use their signal. They will use ours to improve the accuracy of use in various sectors of the economy. Such collaboration improves accuracy and trust when a vehicle from the Russian Federation is in China and Chinese vehicles are in Russia, Bakanov said. Previously, Russia and China established a cooperation roadmap for satellite navigation spanning 2026 to 2030. The signing ceremony was attended by the Director General of Roscosmos and the Chairman of the Chinese Navigation Satellite System Commission, Guan Jun. On November 3, Russian Prime Minister Mikhail Mishustin arrived in China for a two-day visit. The first day was dedicated to Hangzhou, while the subsequent day was spent in Beijing. In Hangzhou, Mishustin convened a meeting with Chinese Premier Li Chang. Such visits demonstrate solid government support and high-level coordination, which serve to facilitate and reinforce international agreements such as this roadmap. It illustrates that satellite navigation collaboration is not merely a technical or scientific endeavor, but also a strategic priority within the broader bilateral relationship and geopolitical framework between Russia and China. Roscosmos and the Chinese Commission for the Navigation Satellite System have reached an agreement to further collaborate in the field of satellite navigation. The parties formalized a roadmap for 2026 to 2030 intended to guarantee compatibility and complementarity between the GLONASS and Beidou systems, according to the press service of the Russian State Corporation. The document was signed after the 30th regular meeting of the heads of the Russian and Chinese governments, conducted in Hangzhou during the visit of the Russian delegation, led by Prime Minister Mikhail Mishustin. Roscosmos stated that the signature of the new roadmap advances the collaboration initiated in 2021. Over the past five years, Russia and China established a joint time laboratory, a platform for testing functional supplement systems, and agreements regarding the mutual deployment of navigation stations within each country's territory. The new document describes plans to track and evaluate how well navigation systems work, along with using satellite technologies more in joint projects. Modern national economic services are closely dependent on accurate navigation. The efficient functioning of transportation, agriculture, construction, communication, and other essential sectors today relies on satellite navigation systems. The Russian GLONASS and Chinese Beidou satellite constellations deliver positioning and navigation capabilities from orbit. The roadmap facilitates the synchronization of these systems' signals, enhancing accuracy and fostering user confidence during the operation of Russian vehicles in China and Chinese vehicles in Russia. This cooperation strengthens the infrastructure for cross-border logistics, mobility, and the digital economy in both nations. The updated roadmap represents a progression of the collaboration established in 2021. In the last five years, Russia and China have created a shared time lab, built a system for testing support systems, and made agreements to set up ground navigation stations together, which lays the technical foundation for better integration of their navigation systems. The joint time laboratory is essential for synchronization, as accurate timing is vital for the precision of satellite positioning. GLONASS and Beidou vary in architecture, frequency bands, and operational algorithms, yet possess complementary characteristics. Synchronizing their signals entails aligning frequency ranges 
and enhancing software-level communication. They are capable of compensating for each other's feeble signal zones, thereby enhancing the accuracy of coordination. GLONASS functions within the L3 band. Beto employs conventional and internationally compatible bands such as B1C and B2A, which are also used by GPS and Galileo, thereby facilitating global interoperability essential for multinational applications. Research conducted in Russia and China demonstrates that the integrated utilization of GLONASS and Beidou signals markedly enhances positioning precision relative to the use of a single system. This is of paramount importance in logistics, where minor inaccuracies can lead to disruptions and financial losses. Signal synchronization minimizes errors to within a few meters, aligning with contemporary satellite navigation standards. This enhancement elevates the performance of navigation devices without the necessity for additional ground stations for correction, thereby augmenting system autonomy. The document anticipates the development of collaborative projects aimed at monitoring and evaluating navigation system parameters, conducting testing under real-world conditions, and expanding programs for satellite technology integration. Focus is placed on establishing standardized protocols and communication frameworks for commercial applications across transportation, agriculture, urban development, and related fields. Collaboration will also emphasize the development of innovative technological solutions to improve system resilience against interferences and cybersecurity threats. The signing of the roadmap occurred concurrently with Russian Prime Minister Mikhail Mishustin's two-day visit to China, during which he held meetings with Chinese officials in Hangzhou and Beijing. This emphasizes the strategic significance of technological collaboration within bilateral relations. To adapt to changing global politics, combining GLONASS and Beidou improves independence and control in important infrastructure and defense areas. The collaboration between Russia and China on satellite navigation is not meant to be a challenge to or replacement for the U.S. GPS system. Instead, it is meant to make both countries more competitive and less dependent on external systems, especially in military and strategic areas. Integrating GLONASS and Beidou enables users to attain accuracy comparable to or exceeding that of GPS in certain regions through the combined use of satellite signals. The roadmap additionally underscores the compatibility of Beidou signals with GPS and European Galileo systems through the alignment of frequency bands and modulation techniques. This facilitates multi-system signal reception, thereby enhancing resistance to interference and increasing reliability. Users are able to concurrently use GPS, GLONASS, and Beidou signals, resulting in enhanced accuracy and reliability of global navigation. End users, including drivers, pilots, drone operators, and cultivators, will have access to superior quality and cost-effective navigation and positioning services. This facilitates the advancement of intelligent transportation, autonomous systems, and digital infrastructure. Organizations functioning within Russia and China will reduce their reliance on American and European navigation systems, thereby strengthening national security. For the economies of both nations, the roadmap enhances the foundation for emerging business models related to geolocation, electronic mapping, logistics, and automation, thereby broadening the global export of satellite navigation technology. In conclusion, the Russia-China Roadmap for Satellite Navigation Collaboration from 2026 to 2030 signifies a new phase in the integration of GLONASS and Beidou. This enhances system functionalities, guaranteeing accurate and dependable navigation services for citizens and economies. Its impact on global GPS involves promoting a more competitive, multi-system environment that improves global resilience. This collaboration promotes the development of comprehensive, autonomous navigation infrastructure. These developments are the result of years of cooperation, sustained technological initiatives, and consistent, high-level commitments. If you think the video was informative, please like, subscribe, and share.
Please also take membership of the channel to encourage us 